Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Rennand, and welcome to this overview of what's new in Mocha Pro 2025. This release packs in a great bunch of new tools to help in multiple areas of your work, including masking, camera solving, and the all-important data management. Expanding on our brush tools, Mocha Pro 2025 introduces a new way to create spline layers with the Object Brush powered by BorisFX Mask ML. Rather than paint, the object brush allows you to simply click the object you want to mask. The tool will then automatically find the boundaries of the object. You can click in multiple areas to drop extra hints on where you want the mat to cover, or right click outside the object to define the areas that shouldn't be considered. As the selected area is a painted mat, you can also switch to the Area Brush tool itself to paint in or erase, helping you refine your selection further. When you're happy, you can then switch out of the tool and Mocha will generate a spline. The Object Brush also has the unique ability to create single frame splines, allowing you to create multiple contours over time that never overlap. This is used to help generate reference keyframes for the next major feature in Mocha Pro 2025. We can generate a nice set of splines, but that only deals with single frames. The good news is that Mocha Pro 2025 can take those object brush splines and use them to drive an automated garbage mat with Mat Assist ML. You can select any layer covering an object and switch to the new Mat module, then check Generate Object Mat. This sets the layer to Mat Assist mode. Rendering forwards will then generate a mat for the object, looking for how it's changing over time and creating new frames to match. You can feed the mat generation more reference keyframes to help nudge it through tricky areas that a single frame may not be able to pick up. The mat can be dilated in and out to refine how close you want the edges to be to your subject, either via a direct render or via controls in the Mocha Pro plugin. The best part is the animated object mat is vector-based and doesn't need to be rendered to disk as a sequence, meaning all your mat data can be saved inside the project, remaining lightweight and fast to render. Mat Assist ML mats can be used anywhere in other Mocha modules just like a regular mat clip. For example, you can use it to quickly hold up difficult foreground objects when tracking, for tighter mats when using the Remove module, for masking a clip in the Insert module, and for more detailed masks in the Camera Solve module. A big update for the Camera Solver in Mocha Pro 2025 is the ability to solve tracked moving objects in your shot. You can use planar tracks or power mesh tracks on non-deforming objects to get their overall movement in the shot, then use the Camera Solver to generate their trajectory in 3D space. To solve a moving object, it helps to have several track points in more than one dimension, so Mocha Pro 2025 allows you to group a set of layers as one moving object, making it easier to tackle more complicated setups. Sometimes solving the exact depth and scale of a moving object in the world is tricky. To help with this, Mocha Pro 2025 introduces an object projection tool to make it easy to line up your object in the scene without changing its position in camera. Solved moving objects can be exported to all the usual 3D formats, including USD, Alembic, FBX, and After Effects, so you can apply the data in the 3D environment you're most comfortable with. As more and more data formats are supported in Mocha Pro, the long-standing export dialog has had a much-needed upgrade. You can now filter your exports by host type and data type, or just enter the one you need directly into the search field. Options are listed in the right-hand panel, along with a star tag that lets you mark your favourites so they appear at the top of the list. If you're exporting the same data type all the time, you can even skip the export dialog entirely and use the export again option in the file menu to repeat the last export. Finally, Mocha Pro 2025 has a raft of tiny changes to make life better in day-to-day -day work. You can now use the quick right-click shortcuts in the 3D view to reduce the noise in your 3D scene with hide options for selected and unselected objects. Rather than using the Insert Point tool, you can now hold down the Command or Control key to add or remove points while still using the Selection tool. 
And the camera solver now uses less memory, and obeys the Mocha memory constraint set in preferences for improved performance. These features plus a range of defect fixes and under the hood improvements make Mocha Pro 2025 a delightful upgrade for every user. We have a range of focused overviews and tutorials for you to get up and running with the latest updates. If you have any questions or want to find out more about Mocha Pro 2025 and the full range of features, check out the website at borisfx.com.